Hello, welcome to my video blog. I want to take this moment today, November the 5th, to talk to you about the importance of not quitting in this final push where the election is concerned. Our nation, as I've said, is, sits in the balance, and this is the most important election, I, I believe, of my lifetime, at least since I've been able to vote. And, and, and why is it so important? Because I believe that the opportunity for the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ to, to continue on a forceful advance, to continue moving forward and advancing the Kingdom of God and demonstrating the love of God it, it, freely and easily is, is greatly being jeopardized in these days. I've talked about how we need to be salt and light, how we've given ourselves to this really doctrine of demons, this this spirit of antichrist that says you got to be tolerant, you got to approve of everything and you just got to accept everything and and the reality is we've messed up with acceptance and approval. We've messed up with with being intolerant versus tolerant. We we haven't understood that by its very nature that when Jesus said we're to be salt and light, he was saying, "Look, you are to impact, you are to transform every thing you touch and by its very nature that means that you're intolerant intolerant has nothing to do with the love of god it has everything to do with his uh, nothing to do with with it not being loving it has everything to do with being loving if you will uh, it has to do with the fact that that god says I don't want you to stay the same. I don't want you to in the status quo. I want you redeemed. I want you brought into the family. I want to transform you. I want to move you out of darkness into light. I want to move you out of lies into truth. And that's the job that we have as the body of Christ. We are his hands. We are his feet. We are his mouthpiece. And it's time for us to make a difference. You say, well, I've already voted. Pastor, I've already been out. I've already done my part. I've already prayed and sought and who God would have me vote for and I've done that. Good. But I'm saying to you, you're not done. You're not done because we need to pray. You're not done because we need to seek the face of God. Well, you're not done because we need to pray kingdom come prayers. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth, in this earthen vessel, me and you, and in this nation as it is in heaven. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The United States of America was blessed and has been blessed because they loved God. The majority of the people loved God and lived for God and desired to honor God. We've gotten away from that. And the blessings of the Father and the protection of the Father has lifted off of this nation. I want it to come back. And it only comes back through His children being salt and light, seeking first His kingdom his rule, his reign. So I encourage you, go out, vote, make a difference, stand for the kingdom of God, stand for righteousness, stand for truth. Demonstrate his love. Love, love, love. A love marked by giving and not getting. Don't make your decisions based on what you're going to get. Make your decisions based on what will advance the kingdom of God. Church, thank you. Thank you in advance for praying. Thank you in advance for seeking first his kingdom. God bless you. May his grace and favor be on you is my prayer.